We're going to add some sparkles to pre-made images using the noise in PSP. So I make this active and you notice I've already got lines, the marching ants around these. We will go and pick up our freehand selection tool with point to point and I'll draw around this last flower. Doesn't have to be all that perfect. My hand's not all that steady. Okay, now we need three layers, so we will duplicate it twice. I'll close off the top two and move back down to the bottom layer. We'll go over to Adjust, Noise, and we'll start with 25. Other settings like I have them. Check OK. Close that layer. Open this layer. Go back to Adjust, Noise, and we'll change this to 30. OK. We will go to the top layer. Go to Noise, Add Noise, and we'll change this to 35. Now we need to stop the marching ant, so we will say Select None. Now we can save it as an animation chop file, or we can right-click, copy, go to Animation Chop, Paste as New Image, and that's how we're going to do it today. Go back to PSP, close off the top layer, open the second layer, right click, copy, back to animation shop. We will paste before current frame, back to PSP, close off that layer and open the bottom layer. Right click, copy, back to animation shop, right click, paste, before current frame. And we have our three frames. We'll test it. There's our noise sparkling on our image. So now we just need to save it. We'll go File, Save As. I'll name it Roses with Noise. Next, 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 and finished. Okay, we can close this one out because I'm going to back to PSP and I'm going to show you what we can do with another image. Let's put this at the bottom and open this one. You notice I've done the image Love Never Ends from Aura's Images. It's a beautiful tutorial she's done. And I left, I I completely did the image and merged everything together and I left the the de little design uh, borders here on a separate layer so that I could uh, add sparkle to them and we need to go and it would be hard for me to draw around all these it would take forever I probably couldn't do it right so I'll go to selection select all float then to defloat, and it puts the um, uh, ants around them. So now let's go and put a drop 3D drop shadow on it with these settings. And now we need the three layers, so we will duplicate. I'll close off these two top layers and go back to this layer, highlight it, Go adjust noise, and I'm going to start with the 35 this time on this one. Close that layer, and I'm going to move to this layer. Go to noise, and I'll change this to 40. I'll close this, this layer and open this one and highlight it. 
back to noise make this 45 now I need to stop the marching ants so we'll go selection select none and I'm ready to start saving it so we will open the bottom one and highlight it and we will say copy merged open animation chop paste as a new image back to PSP close that layer and open this layer highlight it copy merged back to P animation chop paste after current frame back to PSP close that layer and open this one and move up to it copy merged back to animation chop paste after current frame we'll drag this out should have drug it the other way I guess but you see I've got three frames let's test it there's the sparkles such an easy way to add sparkles to an image now let's just save it save as I'll say love never ends as a name next 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 and finish such a beautiful image that she's done and here's a couple few examples the little bunny with the hearts you can animate put sparkles to the heart and thank you here's one of a shoe with a lot of sparkles to it here's another example with um, the borders has the sparkles and uh, also this design here's another example that we've done a little glitter to them last example I have is the little jewels are sparkling this is just a very easy and simple way to add noise to an image hope you enjoyed